Well, hello, my peeps. It's Antoinette. It is the first day of spring, and we're stuck in the house, <laughs> quarantining. <laughs> oh, well. Ah, uh, yeah. Need to take a break from watching all of that news. So, uh, I decided we're going to make pie. My keto buttercream pie. All right, but first, let's talk about flour and flour conversion. So uh, the recipe I have, it calls for one and a quarter cup of almond flour. Somebody asked me in the comments if I would uh, do uh, more lupin flour recipes. So I decided to do a variation here because the only way I like lupin flour by itself are with those fettuccine uh, noodles that I made. Check out that video, I'll link it. Um, but, so for the pie crust, I thought that we would do a combination of flours. So you could swap it up any way that you want. So, the conversion for coconut flour, uh, one quarter cup of coconut flour equals a cup of almond flour. Okay, and one quarter cup is, of course, four tablespoons. So, uh, I'm going to use one tablespoon. And then I'm going to use a half a cup of lupin flour and a half a cup of almond flour. So, just a little thing about lupin. Okay, so I figured it out. Per quarter cup. So we're using a half a cup, so it's going to be uh, double this. But it's 74 calories, 12 carbs, that's full carbs, 11 fiber, 2 grams of fat, 1 gram of sugar, and 12 grams of protein, which equals 1 net carb. So a half a cup that I'm using is going to be 2 carbs. So lupin flour is a nice way to... Uh, you know, kind of lower the carb count. So that's what I'm doing here. But I can't have it by itself, so. Um, the almond flour has 720 calories for one cup and eight net carbs. So it's much higher. The coconut flour is pretty low in calories. That's 120 calories and four net carbs for a quarter cup, which is equivalent to one cup. Did you catch all that? <laughs> okay, let's get started. You can use this crust uh, for any sweet uh, dessert. So, yeah, keep it for that. Find out the ratio of flowers that you like and uh, that work for you. Up first, one tablespoon of coconut flour I put in there. Okay, and then I have a half a cup of lupin flour and a half a cup. I have, this is my one cupper, but I just filled it halfway. So a half a cup of the almond flour. I'm using the Kirkland Costco almond flour and uh, I do like this lupin flour. It has a nice family story and uh, it's called Small Town Specialties, family owned and operated. But I like it because it's white. So, sweet white lupin. I will link it. It was like $16 on Amazon. And that's another reason why you want to mix the flowers because this lupin flower could be really pricey. And if you have a, a peanut allergy, you can't have this. It's a bean. It's made of legumes. The coconut flour, I'm just using Pillsbury's Best. I seem to like that brand. Nothing special. Get it right there on the shelf. Uh, at the store. <laughs> I ventured out into the wilderness and went shopping. I was very careful. I sanitized before I left when I got back. 
Uh, I shopped with gloves on, all that. Um, so I'm shut in now for a week. That's okay, I'll just uh, work in YouTube. <laughs> in between watching the news. Well, I'm watching that all day long while I'm working. Right there, so. Okay, my flowers are mixed. We're gonna use one egg right now. One egg. All right, and, oh. Then I'm going to add the four tablespoons of melted butter, quarter cup. I'm going to use three tablespoons of my brown sugar sweetener. I really do like this brand. Um, okay, I need to break it up a little. It's been a while since I used it. I really do like this brand, uh, but not their syrup. I don't know. There's syrup. I'd rather just have the uh, sugar-free, um, either Log Cabin or Mrs. Butterworth's. Okay. Three. And that's it for the in ingredients. Okay. I'm gonna just mix this on up with a fork. This pie is really delicious. I only made it once before. It was fabulous. All right, so I'm just mixing it up with the fork. This crust takes no time at all. And then with all that butter in there, you don't even need to butter the pan. Here's the pan we're using. This is a seven inch. Uh, it's an Ikea 7-inch little pastry type dish. Oh. For a pie, it's much better to use, you know, either ceramic or glass rather than a metal pan. But if that's all you have, that's all you have. All right, I'm going to just going to pour the crust in. I should have preheated the oven. It's got to be on 375. Spread it around. Take a little time with this. Just spinning it around. And then take I'm taking whatever comes off the edge and pressing in to the little bald spots. <laughs> All right. And I have these nice little indentations on this pan, so I'm gonna press into them, like so. Now, we're gonna find out, my screen is like this big, so, <laughs> uh, so it's hard to tell if my lighting is, you know, on point. But I think it looks pretty good today. So I am learning how to use my camera. Definitely a learning curve involved. Okay, it looks great. There's my crust. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the oven once it's preheated on uh, at 375. Uh, for only seven minutes just to lightly cook it and then we'll be back I took quite the break uh, yeah it's been a while because 
uh, my phone went off and said that I had a package that had been delivered, and so uh, I ordered these lamps on eBay, and they go great with my 60s swag lamp uh, that I bought in the state sale. Uh, I'm so excited. They arrived early. Well, they were $40 for shipping, mind you, and uh, uh, but he lives in um, Minnesota, so me being in Wisconsin, uh, it wasn't as far, so he sent them uh, priority mail. They're very heavy, cast iron base from the 60s. I'll show them to you at the end of the video. Now, I'm going to show you how easy this filling is. Super simple. You take one block of Philly cream cheese, and uh, you know, try to get Philly when you can because it is the lowest carb. All right, this has been, uh, you know, sitting at room temperature all day long, so it's nice and soft. And then I have my Kerrygold butter. You can use any good butter, but uh, it's what I have. And so this is melted. Uh, it's three quarters of a cup of Kerrygold, which is about three quarters of that package. So I'm going to pour that in there. Then I have a half a cup of my Lakanto Golden uh, Sweetener, the brown sugar. This is so yummy. All right, now I have two eggs here. And uh, we're going to use one full egg. They're beautiful. Okay, and one egg yolk. So I'm going to separate this into here. Oop. Oh my, it fell apart. So I'll just use my fingers and get that white out of there. All right, there we go. Got it. Then all we do is mix it up. I did it again. I'm supposed to be preheating the oven. This time, to 350. It's nice and creamy. Mmm. That is delicious. Okay, so I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and clean up this mess, and uh, when it's preheated, we'll pour it in the shell. The oven is preheated. My mess is cleaned up. What I did here was I just put um, on the cookie sheet a silicone mat so this doesn't slide around too much because I've made a mess with this uh, little pan before. And uh, I'm gonna, gonna just load her on up. Look at that. Just fill it all in. This is the easiest pie to make. So easy and delicious. See, so you could use the nine inch pan. It would, it would fill it up, but I just like it higher uh, rather than lower, you know. So, now the thing is, with the weigh-in this week, and I have 10 days left on this 90 day challenge, this is the week that I'm going to do the egg fast. And it's the perfect time to do the egg fast because I'm stuck at home. So uh, I have no temptations <laughs> like I had at work. I mean, I, it's just me here, so uh, it should be pretty darn easy to do the egg fast. Let's go ahead and look at the number while I'm doing this. It's day 80 of the 90 day challenge and uh, I'm gonna weigh in today. All right, let's do it.
165.2, that's exactly a pound from last week. But there's only 10 days to go. Okay, so you saw the number. 165, that's five pounds away from my goal. Uh, it was uh, 160 and uh, 10 days to go. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna do that on the egg fast. Now there's a big difference for me between uh, 165 and 175, I'll tell you that. My goal weight of 160 is only five pounds more than what my driver's license says. So after this, I'm going to probably try to get down to that 155. Okay. I'm just ready to get off that scale once and for all. All right. This is good. Mm. This looks really good. Okay. So I have it nice and sky high. I have a little extra here because I got a small pie plate. Mmm. There's my pie. My butter cream pie. It's going in the oven. It's going to be in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. And then we have to let it cool for two hours. It's been two hours since the pie has been out of the oven. But we're going to have um, uh, the leftovers, those wonderful uh, Philly cheesesteak boats that I made in the last video. I'm just going to put on some salt and pepper. My favorite, my five salt and pepper seasoning rub blend, and grab some Parmesan Reggiano. Just throw that on top. Okay, because it the pie is still warm. I'm watching this on Hulu. Little fires everywhere. Uh, yeah, with um, Reese Witherspoon. So uh, it's, it's getting pretty good. So I'm going to eat that dinner and then we'll have this pie for dessert. So a few weeks ago, I uh, found this beautiful lamp, 60s I imagine, uh, this Swag lamp at an estate sale and I got it for 20 bucks because it was the end of the sale. I mean, it's just beautiful. I love it. I put it up myself. It took me a whole day. Because you have to put in those uh, those toggle uh, bolts to, to hang that. So I saw this pair of lamps on eBay, and you gotta turn it off. Now these bulbs, Look how beautiful they are. They are perfect. They look like, well, they're definitely the same era as, as my swag lamp. Um, but, I, see, and I think it's a three-way. So, um, I am going to get three-way bulbs for them. There's the other one. They're just beautiful. <sighs> I think you should give it 45 minutes. I don't know, in this, in the seven inch, because um, it's a little soft in the middle, not exactly pie, but more like pudding pie. <laughs> but it is so darn good. I just look at it here, let me get, let me show you a bite. It's really delicious. Mm. It's so good. And I do like my combination of flowers that I used. Uh, last time I made it, I did all the almond flour, the whole cup and a quarter. And uh, it tasted more almondy. But using the three combinations of flour, it just tastes like crust. So, uh, I will definitely 
use that combination again. You use whatever combination you want to use. But this is really good. Okay, peeps. We'll see you uh, next weekend. Uh, because I'll be doing the Egg Fast uh, video that's probably going to go on all week uh, through the uh, process. So I should have it up next weekend. So be careful out there. If you venture out in the wilderness, just be careful and stay safe. We'll see you next time.